But she don't love me, she's too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown Hey gang, sorry that I left you hanging for so long I think the last place we left off I was like going to Friday Night Lights it was really fun. I actually had a great time. My high school lost terribly. Like, we lost so bad. It was humiliating. And like one of our teachers there was like making fun of us like, oh, this is just the beginning for you guys. You probably, guys are probably going out after this. And we were like, actually, yes, we are. <laughs> and then we left there and all right, went to New York, went to Solas, whatever. Had a great time out there as always. Um, but now today, oh, last night, sorry, I didn't finish updating you course last night i went to trivia lost terribly actually we came in fifth place which is a crazy comeback because we were in seventh place after the first two rounds but you know we love a comeback story so so we came back in the second round second half and the lady at the bar was so nice she was like oh like we can't, we, we're one of the winners, like take our shots for us. Oh, guys, I love green tea shots. Um, I'm getting ready to go to the last home, well, the last WNBA game of the season before the playoffs. Um, I'm super hyped actually to go. Lloyd invited me and we're supposed to be taking the train there. I was going to drive as per usual, like the addict I am, but he talked me off the ledge. Like I was really about to go for it. And he was like, I feel like we can just take the train. I was like, fine, I guess we can just take the train. A lot going on this weekend. I don't know what happened. I actually thought I had no plans. And then next thing I knew, I was like, wait, I actually have something to do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday. Low key, I wanna cry about it. I've been, I've been really enjoying coming home from work and like not really having anything to do. Like that doesn't really happen that often. So I was really taking advantage of it. But tomorrow I have, uh, doctor's visits are so scary, but I have this like doctor visit because um, like a few years ago we found this like mass in my boob and like it was benign, but like I gotta go get it checked out every now and again. Um, so I'm going to get that scanned on Friday morning. That'll be fun. Guys, I'm realizing that I am booked and busy. And I know a lot of people tell me this, but like I'm realizing it's too much sometimes. And it's not always like this. I really feel like I'm really good at saying no, but recently things have just been aligning where it's like I have no reason to say no. And boom, boom, and then I do a little bit of... <laughs> I'm like rushing. Okay, let's get into the fit. Top is from Express maybe, or H&M. Jeans are from American Eagle. Okay, well, I'm gonna, oh, I didn't pick out jewelry. What do I wanna do? A little less in your face, but still dressy-ish. <laughs> Because we got there on time, like we got free shirts, 
like it was actually so fun we were so lucky because i really wanted to buy merch and i didn't have to okay for the first time in a long time going to the doctor for a checkup like that that was really great news i wasn't nervous going into it because i always get good news coming out of it but i feel like this time so i think i don't know what i really said before i don't remember but like basically a few years ago i went to go get my gyno checkup appointment and she was like oh my god like you have some lumps in your breast like have you ever felt these before and i was like yeah like don't be silly don't we all have little lumps in our breasts like this and then she was like oh you're so silly and stupid no this isn't normal <laughs> it's really not funny but i'm like when i look back on it it's really so funny because like i'm so dumb that really is literally what they teach you when you like check your breast for breast cancer like that's literally what they tell you to feel for anyways regardless i have some lumps in my breasts and they're benign we've had them tested they've like biopsied them but anyways long story short got that tested right my boobs have been through it this in the past few years but i got that done and they were like okay like you're good don't worry it's benign but now you have to come in every year like once a year to get your boobs felt up and we need to check to make sure you're good still so I checked them myself, they checked them, my gynecologist checks them, I got hella heads checking my titty on this. So, so I went today and she was basically like, oh I think you're good, like, um, like I don't think you need to be coming every year, like I think you'll have your gyno test, like I don't really think you need to come back until like around the age of 40, which ah, I gasped because first of all, since I'm only 26. She was like, okay, you know what? Let's regroup and do another ultrasound when I'm 35. And I was like, okay, that's sounding a little bit better. Like nine years, we'll circle back. But again, I'm super hungry. I need to go home, get some breakfast, hop on the computer, do some work. I have a lot to do. I don't know if other people in digital marketing feel this way. And if you are in digital marketing and you're busy like this, tell me. But like Fridays, Fridays are so busy for me like I always have so many things to submit I'm getting the social calendar done for the next week well no I'm not getting it done but I'm starting to schedule those posts out for the next week so that's been my morning so far besides that I've been sitting here um, thinking about my nail color it's almost time for me to get a refill on these suckers it's looking a little crusty we're not in full crustiness level like none are breaking which is really crazy because I feel like before I was breaking my nails like every single month. I don't know what I was doing. I've definitely been way more careful though. Like I've learned like a lot of the times I'll break it trying to open stuff. I just can't do that. I I need to be having full princess treatment. But yeah, today's that um today's my friend's event that she's hosting. Um I need to text her and see if she needs help with anything. I can't really get there that early to be like, let me help you, but I can get there maybe early enough know what I mean hopefully I can still get there early enough to help out um, so I need to reach out to her call her um, and yeah it seems atrocious to call someone at 8 45 in the morning but I feel like I know she's awake you think I should try to call let me call her oh what the freak did I just run over about to run over it again though oh Oh. I definitely ran over glass. So the damage is done though. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. So I'm back from the Everything Babes first event. It was so much fun and such a success. After the event, I did go to New York. Of course, I have no self-control when I'm outside. I am usually outside for a long period of time. I have a problem. I'm thinking maybe my eyeballs are burning here. I'm trying to figure out why I put Vaseline on them. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was literally so late. Look at this, four o'clock in the morning. Like, am I okay? I honestly have been loving doing the skincare super late at night. Um, obviously, we're going in with some tretinoin. Boom, 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 boom. One thing we're going to do, we're going to have this skin looking good. Right. God bless for tretinoin. What a lifesaver. Got to put that on every night. Just a dollop. Got to get rid of those fine lines. Got to put it on the whole face. Keep the face nice and tight. Boop. Just like that in the pajamas. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah. Yeah. 
bonnet time. I feel like I barely show you guys when I'm actually getting ready for bed, but I feel like this is a pretty accurate, uncut version of me getting ready for bed. Like barely doing the skincare, but still trying to look good for the next day getting the hair together so that I could sleep without trying to redo my hair, trying to preserve these curls. So really my trick is you just gotta fold your hair up. Like don't wrap your hair up like you're gonna do a nice pretty ponytail. Like fold it in half, like you're folding a piece of paper or something. Like let the inside bend because then this will stretch your hair out. But yeah, this protects my hair every single time. Super easy, light, cute. I was really tired doing this. Like I can see it in my face. I was excited to film because I was ready to be home. But like, wow, I was so tired. I really do love this little band thing that I use on my hair. It helps my bonnet stay in place and protects my curls because I hate when the bonnet falls off my head. That's literally my least favorite part. And just like that, we are ready for bed. Talk to you tomorrow. Hey, truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suite on deposit, elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area code in my phone. What numbers do I still have? Who do I know from the past? Hit one, she say she got a man. Hit another one, it goes green. Must have changed foes on the team. Remember when you let me in between? That was 2017. All good, chuck a look around. Find one to see my type. Damn, my dog, and he know what I like. He done found me plenty in my life. Problem is, I meet a girl tonight. Then I go and treat her too nice. Galleria credit card swipes. I don't even know if she a wife. But I do know one thing though, women they come they go, Saturday through Sunday. Hey guys, you know how it goes around here, every time I'm really excited to film, it's always aggressively loud in the house, especially on Sundays, so I should not have expected to film. As you can see, I needed to clean the room drastically. Believe it or not, that really only happened over the course of like 24 hours. The room was like sparkly clean before that. Um, but now I'm about to go in with the e.l.f. brush powder. Wow. Now I'm about to go in with the e.l.f. brush shampoo and give my makeup brushes a nice little clean. I have been so good with my skincare for real. Like those 4 a.m. nights of like me doing my skincare have become so enjoyable. Like more enjoyable than doing the skincare during normal hours of the day. I don't know why. It may be unpopular opinion, but let me know if you agree. <laughs> like the 4 a.m. skincare goes so much harder than like the 9 p.m. skincare. <laughs> What really sent me into this deep cleaning spiral, I can't even wait to show you guys my closet, what sent me in this deep cleaning spiral was that yesterday I was using my phone and I really wanted to use my headphones that I edit with. I don't know if you guys have seen them. The ones that I got off of Amazon before. I also have to change real quick because first of all, it's hot as bejesus outside and in here and this fan is not cutting it. Um, I need to turn the AC on, but you know how it goes. So I wanted to talk to you guys first before. It was too loud. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to use the headphones that I bought, but they came with a microphone that you have to attach, and I don't know where I put it, don't know where it is. Might be in my dining room, because I remember unboxing this like in the living room, which is like a dangerous game, because then I'm not gonna get any of my stuff back, because Lord knows where the cleaning people, or my mother, or my father, or somebody moved it to, so that might just be gone to the wind, which is very annoying, um, <laughs> but. Yeah, that prompted all this cleaning. And then besides that, it's been so cold low key. Like it's fall, I'm sorry. The fall is here. Last night I tried to be cute and I had on like, and I had on that Amazon top that I got, um, which is like thicker material. So I thought I was gonna be good, but it was low key really cold last night. And like to the point where even the night before I could have had on like a sweatshirt. Like my friend had a sweatshirt on and I was like, mm, I definitely could have worn a sweatshirt out here. Like that's how cold it was. Um, but yeah, like 66 degrees at night in Manhattan with the wind. No, 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 no. Chilly, chilly, chilly. Um, so yeah, so cleaning the closet next. Thankfully the room is taken care of. I'm gonna do the brushes. Um, and then I need to start getting my life together. I got a new iPhone. I got the iPhone 16 plus, max? Plus or max? I got the iPhone 16 Pro Max. 
Um, so I would really like to set this up. I got it in the color sand, desert sand. So actually, let me write that down on my to-do list today. I also need to order phone case. I actually don't even want to turn it on until the case is here. I have the screen protector. I have the charger. Um, I really do enjoy this pop socket case. Like I know it's a little dingy and dirty and burnt down, but I love how adjustable this is. So I'm thinking about getting another pop socket case because this one has lasted me so long. But the thing is, it's not as like durable. So like I do, I do feel like when I drop my phone on the pop socket case, I do feel like it cracks a little bit more. But I love the way it's set up. Like it has the lifted camera thing so that my camera isn't touching the ground. The pop socket piece is adjustable and removable. I can completely take this bar off if I wanted to, which I, I also love because I get versatility. Regardless, I need to start mentally and physically preparing to start this bad boy because I have to send this phone back. I'm working on a personal project that I really need to dive into. Um, I'm really excited about that. I need to reach out to a few people to get some things set up. And honestly, I really did want to like sit here and talk to you more about like the Everything Babes event that I went to the other day for the dinner. It was just so cute and heartfelt and I'm just really proud of my friend Alasia, shout out Alasia. But she just started this like online community and it's really for people who are like multi, multi-passionate creators um, who literally do everything. Like I think a lot of the times, um, I don't even know if I want to dive into this right now, but I guess like I am. Okay, that's fine. Let me get the bag too so I can do the haul. Hold on. But yeah, she gave us these really cute bags at the event that said, what do you do? And then it says everything dot dot babe because we do everything. And I feel like I haven't really talked about that struggle that I've dealt with on here, but I'm really, I was even more excited when she started this project because like, I've always felt like I was a multi-passionate creator, like whether in college or post-grad or now like it like really does play an important role into my life so I feel like when I was in college I had a hard time choosing what I wanted to do because I was very multi-passionate and I knew like I wanted to do media but I also am very good at art I also really love to sing like I also like love all these things and I really wanted to incorporate all of them into my career even though like you know you know it's not really possible when you're younger <clears throat> but like I feel like the more you get older you see that like being multi-passionate like also creates it, all, it opens so many doors for you because you're not stuck to a niche. And I think like this really came about because, you know, Elijah is also a creator. And I think she like saw that like posting online and like being online, you're always like trying to be forced into a niche, into like one category, whether it's like you only do lifestyle or maybe you only do beauty or maybe you do X, Y, Z, but it's like, no, it's like there are people who genuinely post about everything or who do everything. I think it's like just great to have like a space for creators that do a bunch of different things. And I wish I definitely had something like this growing up, just whether it was like meet mentors or just grow my like network. It's just very good to feel like there's a space to like meet people who are just like you in that way. Um, and then professionally, I feel like it has like helped and hindered me in my professional career because on one hand, I get a lot of people that are like, your resume is too spread out, which is crazy to say, because it's really not that spread out. I'm basically in the same industry, just a few different positions. And I wanted to do a little haul on the items we got in the bag. So let's get into it. First things, first one up. We have this pore clarifying clay mask from Bloom. Let's open her up. Oh, it's a little tube. Cute. We love that. A little tube action. Thanks, Bloom. Appreciate you. Ripple. This is a zero nicotine, um, like, vape pen. It's strawberry aroma, and it basically has a viscous acai, and it's just an aromatic diffuser. I'm definitely not a vapor. I don't really enjoy those types of things, but I think, like, this is cool because it really helps people who have, like, really bad nicotine addictions. Ooh, and look how flat it is. Oh. I can see how someone would like this. I also feel like it's definitely giving slight placebo effect with the way that the cartridges are burning. Like, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Let me get closer. Like, do you hear it? Oh my gosh, and then she gave us a glow bar. 
you can't see my code, but a glow bar gift card. Like that's so sweet. Who doesn't love glow bar? Like shout out glow bar. Then we have some gummies from Behave. Ooh, this there's watermelon, mango, and lychee flavors in here. Thank you. So cute. So cute, so cute. And then last but not least, I'm actually the most excited about this one because I've been wanting to get the um, their patches that they have for ingrown hairs. Um, but last thing in the bag was this fur oil for like pubic hair and stuff. So essentially I'm still getting the same thing that I really wanted. Um, it's just not the patches. So I got the oil now, which is great. I'm so, 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 so hyped about it. Shout out fur. Fur oil. Oh my God, so exciting. That's actually so lit. I don't even know where I left off at the end of the last vlog. Like it's been over a month since I filmed. I honestly have some notes on I feel like where I've been and I just wanted to catch up with you. Bear and I were chilling this afternoon and I was like, oh my God, the house is silent. Like this is my perfect time, my, my perfect opportunity to film something. So I have some notes on where I've been. I missed you guys a lot. I literally, have been talking about coming back on the channel a lot with my friends and I'm just like I really miss filming um I just haven't been in that space anymore to like really be vlogging I don't feel like I have much else to share right now which kind of sounds crazy because you know I just I am a yapper I'm, I could yap all day but I just don't think that's where I want like my content to go right now and I'm working on like an interview series that I'm excited to share um, but after everything that happened, every, after all of like those other events, I went to CultureCon, I went to Ad Week. Um, you can follow me on like LinkedIn and see a little bit more about like my experience there or I'll be posting some pictures to Instagram and stuff so it'll be on there too. It was just, it was just a really great experience and then like even going to Ad Week and like just learning a lot about what brands aren't doing. I feel like I learned a lot about what they aren't doing more than what they are doing and it was a little concerning just to hear that like these brands that like we're putting so much like they have so much money to spend and they just like aren't using it properly and like they're not having enough diversity on their teams and they're just not thinking of like creators in certain ways and then they're not having a diverse enough team to think about getting diverse creators it's just so much that i feel like plays into everything it was like it was very eye-opening i think for me um and i just met really cool people had a lot of fun great conversations um, you know, I like to yap, so like I love hearing a good conversation. Um, and then besides that, what else I've been doing? I, so this October, I've also been out in New York a lot, a lot of late nights. Oh, you want your belly rubbed? A lot of late nights in New York. Right, buddy? We had a, a lot of late nights. We were hanging a little bit. Um, I just feel like it's been a lot of going, a lot going on, like celebrations um like halloween is this weekend and like we're going to six flags and stuff so like that'll be fun but it's also just like there's engagement parties birthday parties uh like people want to go out it's always people you haven't seen you want to sit on my lap why do you always want to go when i'm on camera i swear he never wants to leave when i'm actually just sitting here with him can you come and sit with me sit it i'm sorry i can't let you out yet he's like please oh you're just sleepy but yeah i just feel like i used to be really terrible with like enjoying the moment which i, I am kind of still bad at doing that but i'm trying to be a little bit better so like less filming on my day to day enjoying my time after work enjoying my weekends with the people in my life you know trying to date that's a whole nother situation but you know just taking everything a day at a time and like <sighs> trying to enjoy the rest of this year because I already know that next year is going to be a whole nother whirlwind of memories, trials, tribulations, and fun. And I'm just like, uh, I'm just trying to prepare for it as best as I can. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I've been up to. I think I'm going to try out this bloom face mask that they sent in Alasia's goodie bag. I do not remember the last time I did a face mask. It might've been over a month ago, which is so bad. I like to do them like usually monthly. I was gifted this blue mask from Everything Babes and I was like, okay, this is the perfect time to try it. Like, what else am I gonna do? A three in one clay mask. Ooh, that's what I love to hear. Okay. I cleaned my skin, it's feeling pretty dry, so I do need to put it on. 
Leave it for 10 minutes. Oh, how cute is she? Sometimes I get nervous with face masks because my skin's so sensitive, but I really need something to help me with my pores right now. I'm hoping to get great results from this because it's been so long and my pores really need it right now that I'm like, oh, this will be perfect. Okay, almost done. Gotta do the top. Okay, I love it, I love it. A lot of the times I stopped using the face mask because I didn't like the consistency or I always felt like it was so like fake, but this is so smooth. I'm actually obsessed. Okay, I can't, I'm interested to see how this is gonna dry. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, it's been 10 minutes and that was actually great. I felt like I was wiping off a lot of dead skin. Oh. Alexa, stop the timer. Perfect, yep, exactly, like I said. It's been 10 minutes and I feel like I saw pimples that I didn't even know were here. My, my skin feels very clean. It feels very smooth and hydrated also. Like I don't feel like, like post, post moisturizer, I don't feel like there's anything left in my skin. Like I feel great. 10 out of 10, I'm definitely using this monthly. Thank you, Bloom. Um, good to know that you're that girl, so. Well, gang, thanks for coming with me. I had so much fun hanging out with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.